Dear viewers, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. Today being the 28th of November 2022, I'm glad to be back with some very, very interesting analysis. Now, let us start off by doing a flashback of yesterday's crusade at Kasarani Stadium. That crusade was convened by Pastor Ezekiel, and I think is the only pastor who has not been seen trooping the state house, not been seen going to Karen, he has not been seen trying to dance to the Kenya Kwanzaa's tune is the only pastor. I think he's the only pastor again who warned people against a looming rebellion. I think he did this in uh, somewhere around there in August. That was just a prophecy. And what is shocking is that there are recent activities that are taking place, recent happenings. If you look at the GMO crisis that is already creating a rebellion within the UDA supporters themselves. If you look at what happened in Mount Kenya that led to the Rigati Gachagua, you know, uh, saying publicly that he led the troops of, of Kenya Kwanzaa to vote against William Bruto's list. That's one of the ways to symbolize a rebellion. That was enough indication that a rebellion was already in the offing. Pastor Zekel, when he made that prophecy, many people thought that it was just another prophecy that any other pastor can make. But I did not ignore that prophecy. That's why I did a video about the rebellion, the looming rebellion. I think that's somewhere there around September or late August. I did a, a video on the same. You can go back and check it. And then I also did another video, I think uh, last month or early this month, again, about... That is when now uh, all else started uh, breaking loose when we saw what happened in uh, Rift Valley and we also saw what happened in uh, what was happening in Nairobi as far as the gangs and the everything when the hustlers started feeling shortchanged. That is the time I, make, I made another reference to that prophecy. So Pastor Ezekiel pulled a crowd that can only be referred to as a mammoth crowd. I remember seeing uh, the Azimio One Kenya lands a final rally in Nairobi. I think it was in the same place. That rally was full to capacity when Raila Amolodinga uh, convened that meeting. Okay, of course there was another rally uh, at Nyao Stadium that was now for William Samoy Ruto. But what we witnessed yesterday is enough indication that the people want a savior. They want someone to liber liberate them from what they are going through. I could only refer to what I saw, the crowd I saw yesterday, with what I saw in Azimio One Kenya Alliance Crusade. That was the only time such a crowd was pulled. I think in Kenya, it looks like, apart from Raila Moludinga, the second person who can pull a mammoth crowd is Pastor Ezekiel. <laughs> So if you look, look at the 
two rallies, then you can only tell that the people want someone who can liberate them from the crisis that they are in at the moment. It is evident that the government now is not listening to what the people want. What the people want is to be not to be subjected to GMO. What the people want is security to be heightened. What the people want is that those P things which were promised during campaigns to be delivered. But most of the utterances that we see from these politicians are in contradiction of, of what the politicians subjected the country to. We're not finding ourselves in a scenario where now we have to go for Mandamano because the government is not listening to the people. The government is trying to bombard the people with things that are not conforming to the law. I'm not going to delve into Cherera issue whereby now JLSC has been uh, is, is, is unfairly asking for those members or for those commissioners to go to you know, to attend a meeting in contradictory to the law because what we know is that they are supposed to face a tribunal but not JLSC. But JLSC decided to do that. They don't have the mandate to do it, but they are doing it. So that is one of the things that is calling for Mandamon. But our main focus is not Mandamon in this, in this analysis. But what we are saying is that what we saw yesterday is enough indications that the people of the Republic of Kenya needs a savior. Could it be that they have lost hope in this government? Could that be the case? I think that could not be far from truth. That is in fact the truth that the people have lost hope. There's one reason why I have respect for Pastor Ezekiel of the New Life Ministry. I have respect for him because he is not the is is the only the only pastor who has not, and I repeat, has not shown indications of dancing to the tune of the government. I think he's one of those pastors who tell the truth. Prophet Ward also at one particular time pulled a crowd almost similar to what Pastor Ezekiel is pulling right now, but Pastor Ezekiel's Mammoth crowd is what is the talk of the town right now, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think this is enough indication that the people of the Republic of Kenya needs a savior? Kindly share what your thoughts are below the comment section there. I'd like to hear what you what your thoughts are. But please, as usual, allow me to urge you to please subscribe to our channel. If you're first time viewer or if you're regular viewer, not subscribe to this channel. Please take a moment and subscribe. Once again, I'd like to urge any viewer to please stay safe and stay blessed until you catch up again for another analysis.